Hey, buddy. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm in the deserts of Utah, and it's raining. It's actually raining. Like, not a lot, but it's been drizzling kind of like all night. Look at this. I stink pretty bad, but I don't want to leave the desert just yet. So, I'm going to have a desert shower. Now, usually I'd use my taps at the back and do my actual shower setup, but my water heater still isn't working and I haven't bothered to fix it yet. So, I think, because it's kind of cold out, I'm just going to do a hobo shower and use the kettle to heat up some water, add some cold water to that, and then use that to shower. Make do with what you got. Let's start our morning off right. <coughs> First off, I want to talk about that shower for a second. Um, use the kettle right there. I really need to get that hose uh, installed properly and I need to get my water heater working because it worked. I'm clean and I smell great, but uh, not convenient at all. And if I have guests with me and we're desert parking, they're not going to want to do that at all. So, uh, yeah, got to figure that out. Champ and I are going to hit up the mountain bike and I'm going to go check out, hopefully, some of those red stones over there. Let's do it. Come on, Champy, let's do it. Well, this is as far as I'm going. I return back as Callum and Catherine will be here soon, but I'm just blown away. I don't really have anything to say about it. It's just spectacular. I have the best life. All right, well, today was a bit of a dud. Um, because it's been raining, like pretty much consistently, the ground around me has gotten really muddy and my friends who are gonna join us here, Callum and Catherine, can't because uh, the road in is completely mudded out and it also means that I'm trapped here. So I'm the only one here on this little tract of BLM land. I'm not far from Moab, I'm about 35 kilometers or so, but uh, yeah, I'm probably a solid 25 kilometers from the next human being. And I've got the whole place to myself. And I can't really just go outside because it's so muddy, I can't do anything. So I've been sitting inside, I'm about to make craft dinner, which if you guys, uh, American viewers, you don't know this, craft dinner is craft uh, ma macaroni and cheese, but it's the Canadian version, probably a lot less healthy even than regular craft macaroni and cheese. It's like got an orange tinge to it definitely not healthy but I've tried having yours I've tried having macaroni and cheese and it does not taste the same there's just something special something Canadian about it and that goes just goes to show you know it, we might be your uh, little brother up north but we do some American things like unhealthy fast food better than you guys do 
yeah, more unhealthy. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm sitting here and uh, since I'm trapped in the middle of the desert on my own, middle of absolutely nowhere, I'm watching X-Files. I'm freaking myself out. I'm <laughs> just trying to like, just chill out, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Champ is not afraid at all. He is just sitting here. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for tonight. Just take it easy. Craft dinner. The key to my craft dinner, or uh, KD for short, um, is I add little bits of hot dog and um, margarine to the powder and then uh, a little bit of pepper on top. No milk. Let's keep it nice and dry. It's how I roll. You know, every Canadian's got their own way of doing craft dinner. And to be honest, probably a lot of the healthy one, healthy Canadians out there have a way of doing craft dinner where they don't do craft dinner. But uh, I'm feeling a little down, you know. And today was like... Uh, Started off well, but this rain, what are the odds, man? Getting rained out in the desert. Anyway, hopefully it'll dry up tomorrow morning and then I can uh, go see Arches National Park and then start heading back up north to Salt Lake City. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not color correction. That is, in fact, that orange. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 